This is it, a can't miss game and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage, what a prospect. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Welcome to the friendly confines of Craven Cottage in West London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Fulham and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Bukayo Saka plays with Leandro Trossard out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Plenty to like about Martin Odegaard, his approach to the game, his ability on the pitch. What do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, we know he's a top-class player, but at set plays, that's where he's at his very best. And he's got so many techniques, he can hit through the back of the ball, he can wrap his foot round it, or just chip it over the wall. He'll certainly score goals if given the chance today. White. And here's Saliba. Partey. Havertz. Rice with it. Tomiyasu. Gabriel. Thomas Partey. So Who had no intention of losing out. Intercepting it intelligently. Harry Wilson. Muniz. Wilson. Arsenal did well to win back possession. Tomiyasu. It's with Gabriel. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Palinha. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. But then the one that goes astray. And that's going to result in a goal kick. Not in the accuracy department, leaving a bit to be desired. Tom Kearney. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Pereira. Wilson. Can he put it away? Can he convert? Spot on with that tackle. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. He will be. Real chance. Can they put it away? And the danger is averted. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Short corner it is. Pereira. <laughs> and
And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Craven Cottage. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Still passing it around with authority. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Timothy Castagna. Pereira. Palinha. Iwobi. Kearney. Oh, a vital interception. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Gabriel. Declan Rice. Tommy Yasu. It's with Gabriel. Oh, they have it again. Wilson. And players waiting in the center. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And unable to keep possession. A very good tackle. It will be. Bukayo Saka. 20 minutes to go in this one. Good work from Fulham to win it back. William Saliba Bukayo Saka Saka It's with Erdegaard And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position But quick thinking defensively Being pressed and pressed high Robinson Adarabayo. Ten minutes to go. Pereira. How oh, can they nudge in front late on here? He will be. Pereira. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. And Kai Havertz. Ben White. Textbook defending inside the box. Must take the lead here. Oh, my goodness. That was staggeringly good. Of the highest order. Well, here we see it again. Just look at that. It's a brilliant bit of skill and a magnificent goal. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. 
And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Now still pressing for a goal here. And the cross into the middle. Thumped clear. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very...